Happy New Year to you all, um, 2023, hey? Okay, well, hope, let's hope it's a good year for one and all. Um, so where do I start? Well, I'm going to start off with apologizing for my predictions about Spain in the World Cup and Brazil, um, but it was a pretty amazing World Cup all the same, so hope you don't, hope nobody was following my football tips too closely. Um, as for my predictions for the property market in 2023, well, Last year, I was pretty accurate in, in predicting that there would be an increase, but not as much as the year before. It's kind of how it panned out. Um, here's my take for 2023. Keep in mind, this is just one man's opinion, um, and I don't want to pretend I'm an economist or anything like that, but these would be my thoughts as it stands. Um, interest rates are going up and are going to continue to go up. Um, in theory, that will affect the demand. Um, now, what tends to happen in real life is demand, our human behavior kind of lags what happens in the real life by maybe about six months. That's kind of from a study. So later in the year, you're going to ex would expect demand to start to taper out a little bit just based on the interest rate side of things. On the flip side, though, the central bank as of Monday of last week have basically given the green light for banks to lend more money, which is obviously going to increase demand. Um, there was then a, obviously a continued gap between supply and demand in terms of the number of houses being built versus the demand for them. There was a big gap. So that would certainly, um, again, cause price price pressure to go up. So my overall view on this would be that, in, and it is done on a market by market basis or a location, by, but on, on, in, in general terms, I would expect maybe potentially a little spike at the start of the year when the um, four times salary comes into effect and a number of people who just want to, want to want to grab that on top of the four-time salary that the help to buy was extended for another well this year and next year and the first home scheme so there's a lot of help for demand um and then the interest rates are, are, i haven't come through yet i haven't factored themselves in yet but i am strongly advising people that it is something they need to take into account so later on in the year i would definitely see a um cooling off in demand and I would see prices beginning to kind of remain stable or maybe just going up by a little bit. Um, so that would be my prediction for 2023 in the main. Hopefully I'm not too far off the mark, but if you're obviously interested in getting a handle as to where you stand right now and getting your own roadmap, get back in touch or getting a revised roadmap with the new rules, get back in touch and we'll happily provide that for you. And um, in the meantime, most important, if you're trying to get yourself ready for them in this, is making sure that your bank accounts look in good order. That's the crucial thing. So consistent monthly savings or consistent monthly rent are the key to what the banks will look for. Given that rates are going up, they're going to basically be looking for people to be able to show an even higher ability to repay so that's really really important that you keep that into account so listen i hope we all have a great year and don't be afraid to reach out if you have any queries and uh, hope to talk to you all soon thank you for listening